G'day everyone, Nick Bowditch here. Um, I hope you're having a ripper Thursday, wherever you are. It's Thursday here in Australia today at the moment at about 1.30 in the afternoon, so adjust your mental clocks wherever you are in the world. Um, g'day and, and welcome. Um, today I just want to create a little bit of content and talk about a few things that are happening right now, a few interesting things in the business and, and also in my kind of personal side of my business that I think um, may or may not be interesting to you. If you're watching this still, then maybe you're still interested, so that's good. Um, the first thing is um, I've recently got my qualification with a diploma of counselling. It was kind of the last bit of the puzzle for me to fit in. I've always done mentoring and consulting and coaching of people um, around business stuff and then when they've kind of brought a personal issue into it, I've kind of gone, oh, look, you know, I'm not a therapist, you need to go to a therapist and I'd refer people away and, and stuff. But um, I always felt that that was a sort of bit that was missing um, and, and that I was able to help people a little bit more if I could provide the whole suite, you know. So so that's what I've done and I've started um, doing therapy sessions as well as um, other stuff now and it's just so interesting and and uh, it's, humans are fascinating, man. Like I'm just, I'm so into it and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of humbled by how honest people can be and how um, on the surface they might feel like they are damaged but you know how how deep that goes and how um, difficult sometimes it is for anyone to even see goodness to see hope and see a future and, and so um, that's what I've mostly been working on I I, um, I sort of pitch myself or position myself as someone who talks about resilience in the face of dot 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 um, and a lot of the people who are coming to me for that um, counselling and therapy and advice session uh, not advice, uh, counselling and therapy session um, are, are like me they bring a mental illness or two with them um, they're mostly people who are in business or working for a business that is potentially a start up, a small business or whatever um, and they just want to be a better version of themselves like I do so that's kind of, um, that's kind of where where that's at and it's um it's really rewarding i'm really loving it but um i wanted to share something that came in yesterday a, a message a inbox that i got and it said or it says how can you be a therapist you're fucked in the head yourself what a joke someone who says they have a mental illness but then pretends they are able to help other people with one you're an idiot so you know, that's good. Um, I get a little bit of trolling, and, and I try and I try and kind of measure it in two ways, in two buckets. I put some stuff into just stuff I just I don't even give a second thought to, and some stuff I think well, I could I could write back to this person and see what's going on and see if I can I don't know help or something, um, or just make them realise that somebody is reading this someone human reads what they say so i wrote back to this guy and all the advice from all of the great mentors says you know engage the haters and, and you'll win the back and they'll be the one, best whatever so i wrote back to this fellow and i said you know i'm sorry you feel that i'm an idiot and that i'm not able to um provide therapy for someone else if i'm um you know have some problems myself um you know i hope you hope you have a great day if you need anything please let me know blah blah you know Really, really positive and kind. <laughs> His response is, go fuck yourself. <laughs> so I guess that advice doesn't work for everyone. But, um, but just on that note, I think it's an interesting point, though. And it's something that I've thought about a lot, actually, is, you know, am I, too, um, am I too honest about my mental illness to then be able to provide help and counselling to somebody else with one? But... You know, the, the fact is that the majority of people... No, sorry, not the majority. Um, mental illness rates are higher in people who provide psychotherapy, psych psychiatrists, psychologists, counsellors, therapists, whatever. Um, that's for a reason, you know? Like, we know what people need because it's what we need. We, we are able to give a greater sense of empathy and understanding to somebody who comes with a particular issue because we might share that issue with them. And I, and I feel like I'm good at it because for a few reasons I know what it's like to sit across from a therapist and share your fucking soul um, and I, how hard that is especially in the first two or three sessions um, I know what it's like to live with these superpowers and, and, and what I have to do to live with them and so I'm able to listen to other people 
tell me about theirs without any judgment or without any, you know, crossing of my eyes or anything like that. You know, I just listen and, and try and reorient them to fact and to reality and to hope and to the future and, and whatever. Um, and then thirdly, I know that it's not a magic bullet. I know that you don't go to one therapy session and then you're cured and everything's okay. And, and I think the more um, that I'm able to sit across from someone who brings whatever issue they're bringing to me um, and just be there for them and just be able to say, you know, I, I don't know what you're feeling right now. I can't understand what you're feeling right now, but this is what I feel. Um, and, and the more I speak in the eye and the more I take um, out any kind of shoulds and musts and judgments, the more people share with me and are able to, um, you know, confidently and happily um, share what they need with me so that we can close that gap. So, yeah, I think that me having whatever is going on in my head is actually a bonus uh, in some ways to to that stuff as well.